Hey guys, it's Danielle and I wanted to pop on here and I wanted to share my experience with week three through week six of soft foods. Um, my stats are I'm 37, I am 5'11", and my highest weight was 300 pounds and my date of surgery weight was 291 and this morning when I got on the scale I am 260. So that's exciting. So. What does soft foods entail according to my doctor? <laughs> and I have this little booklet that I'm going to go ahead and just explain what I was able to have and what I wasn't able to have. So if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my book, so I apologize. Um, any type of meat, lamb, pork, poultry, seafood had to be something I was able to cut with a um, plastic fork. So um, I don't eat a lot of these, um, a lot of ground turkey, shrimp, and chicken is what I pretty much had for dinner, and I had to always make sure those were extremely tender. Um, also, too, I wasn't able to have a lot of vegetables. Matter of fact, the only vegetables I was allowed to have was artichokes. No, take that back. It was yams, green beans, carrots, tomato, and summer squash. Okay. And to be honest, I've only had a few green beans over the course of the three weeks. I didn't have a whole bunch of them because by the time I got done with my protein, I wasn't really eating much vegetables, which I probably should have incorporated some more vegetables, but I was just more focused on trying to get that protein in. Anyways, so I wasn't able to have any type of nuts. That's what she said. That's not what we're here for. Anyways, um, I was able to have um, a teaspoon or is it a tablespoon? I don't know, I can't find it. But I was able to have, I think it was a teaspoon of uh, creamy peanut butter, but I didn't have that because I'm like, what am I gonna spread that on? I don't know. So, but that's pretty much what I was able to have. And I do have a few things up here that I wanted to share with you as what I ate throughout my three weeks and maybe they might help you and you might get an idea. For yourself if you're going through the soft phase. Um, so first off for breakfast, a lot of mornings I would just have a Premier Protein uh, drink, get up, take my vitamins, grab a Premier Protein uh, shake. Uh, on other mornings what I would do is I would get egg whites and I would take t three tablespoons of egg whites and I would take these Laughing Cow cheeses, they're fantastic. Um, this one is the garlic and herb, I love it. And I would take that and I would also take one fourth cup of these Jimmy Dean turkey sausages. And I'm sorry for the light reflecting, this is not my ideal setup. I hope to get like an actual filming camera soon. But until then, I'm on my iPhone upstairs in my hum husband's game room. Anyways, back to this. So. I would take a fourth a cup, and the serving size is half a cup, and for a half a cup, it is five grams of fat, two carbohydrates, two grams of carbohydrates, and 10 grams of protein. So it's not bad, so it's even less if you do one fourth of a cup, and that's what I would do, and I'd make a really good breakfast scramble. And I think what really elevated it for me is these Laughing Cow cheeses, which aren't too bad in stats themselves. They are actually 1.5 gram a fat, uh, one carb, and three proteins. So, I mean, it's not a ton of protein in there. I just use it more as, you know, a flavor enhancer for my breakfast scramble, but I love it. I think they're great. So, that would be pretty much it for breakfast. Uh, it would either be a scramble or a shake. Uh, for lunch, what I would also have is these. I know these are a fan favorite of people that have had the sleeve or any type of bariatric surgery. Uh, these tuna packets are fantastic. I would have uh, one of these and I might not finish the whole packet. Um, I'm supposed to only have like two to three ounces of food um, and this right here is 2.6 ounces so it depends. I would be able to maybe finish it, maybe not depending on the day. So this is 3.5 grams of fat no carbs and 19 protein so that's that's great and sometimes what I would do is I'd also take one of these again the little laughing cow and I would just mix it in with a packet of the 
tuna and it tasted great so I was excited about that um, really also for lunch what I would do is take some low-fat string cheese and I would take a piece of lunch meat and roll it up and I would have that for lunch sometimes I might put it on a skillet and kind of brown the lunch meat a little bit um, I got that idea from Grace Gets Gastric so thanks for that idea I've been doing that a lot for lunch um, Dinners have really just consisted of shrimp, chicken, uh, ground turkey. I really haven't made a whole heck of a lot of different things. Uh, I've just pretty much kind of focused on getting my protein in. So my husband's been pretty great on the grill. He'll grill some chicken. I'll make sure I do it into bite-sized pieces. Um, same thing if I like happen to have a turkey sausage or something like that for dinner, bite-sized pieces. And to be, truth be told, that's been very, very hard for me to do, bite-sized pieces and becoming a slow eater. Prior to my surgery, I would just eat very quickly in large pieces. I mean, I wasn't trying to like choke on anything, but I have found it very hard to kind of slow my speed down and my bites um i know my body can't handle that but it's it's just been something i've had to actively think about when i eat like cut that piece smaller put the fork down and sometimes i've noticed like especially with my breakfast my breakfast will go cold by before i'm done with it and that's fine um but on the flip side of that when i do eat faster or you know almost like I normally did prior, I feel just like my chest feeling stuffed. You know, I just feel, oh my goodness, like it's so much. So I have been working and trying to slow myself down when I eat because that has just been a hard habit to break eating fast. So I'm working on that. Now for snacks. Um, a lot of my snacks consist of beef jerky. I got this, I can't remember where, I wanna say Target or Walmart, but if you see me and I'm out, I probably have a beef jerky packet of some sort in my purse, maybe not this size, but a smaller size, because when I'm out, if I get hungry, I need something I can snack on. So, per stick, these are turkey sausage, natural cut, uh, oh, it's by Old Wisconsin. So each stick is 3.5 grams of fat, one carbohydrate, and seven protein. So not bad for a snack. Um, also two, another fan favorite, park rides. <laughs> I was never a big chip eater, um, but for some reason I've been really wanting something saltier lately. And honestly, I will probably take a serving of these at night when I'm watching television and they are total fat five grams no carbohydrates and nine protein for one half ounce so you know a few of these will do do me good and that's what I eat when I'm watching TV at night um, also too I really like chocolate a lot you know that's one of my biggest downfalls is chocolate or was one of my biggest downfalls was chocolate. So um, I found these Fiber One bars. They're the Fiber One protein bars, and this one's in chocolate peanut butter. Well, said that backwards. Um, peanut butter chocolate. And it is 90 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 11 carbohydrates, and 10 protein, 10 grams of protein. I mean, they're very small. I don't know if you can tell, but they're very small and I think they're great. I have the peanut butter chocolate ones and I have the double chocolate ones. Um, and I, I find them to be pretty tasty and they help curve my chocolate cravings, if you will. Um, as for drinking, uh, I have to have 64 ounces of water every day. And I'm gonna be honest, it's hard to get down 64 ounces of water on its own. So I have quite the collection of crystal lights. And this one is the pomegranate, or the cherry pomegranate. Not bad, it's pretty good. So that's what I've been drinking. Some type of flavored water just to help it go down faster. And um, it's kind of hard drinking 
water on its own. I don't want to say it's not hard. I just don't go through it as quickly. Like I have a bottle of water sitting right over there and I haven't even drank half of my 28 ounces yet today and it's like one o'clock and I don't like that. So um, I'm going to have to pop one of these in so I can start getting through my 64 ounces today because I definitely want to meet that. And I haven't had a problem meeting 64 ounces. It's just I don't like to have to have so much water I need to drink by the end of the night because I've been sipping on it all day. Um, so aside from that, that's pretty much it. Um, since today was my last day of soft foods, I did go to Starbucks and I got a small, well I guess this would be a tall, PSL and I got it with no whipped cream and 1% milk. So I told myself, because these are my, I love these things. Um, PSLs are my jam at this time of the year as it is many ladies <laughs> and men. Um, but I told myself I could have one and I did. And it's, I still have, I mean, I got this a couple hours ago at 1040 and I still have about that much left in there. So I'm going to have to reheat it, but I'm just trying to nurse it and not go through the coffee so much because this is my first cup of coffee that I've had um, because my doctor's office suggested I wait until six weeks post-surgery to have some coffee. So let's see here. What else? I have a few small victories that aren't scale related. Uh, a lot of my clothes have become really loose on me. Um, I went to Target the other day and I was just curious. I wanted to try on some women's XXL clothes, not plus size, but regular women's double XL clothes. I tried on a gray shirt and I tried on a gray sweater and the gray sweater was by Wild Fable. I think that's the brand, but it was on sale for 10 bucks. And I was surprised because I thought that was a juniors type of uh, line. I put it on and it fit. And I'm like, well, we live in Florida. I really probably don't need a sweater, but you never know. And I got it because it was 10 bucks. And I will go ahead and insert a couple pictures at the end of the video because honestly, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to editing. I still kind of need to figure out things. So if this is super choppy and there's a lot of mm, huh, ands, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to editing. So hopefully I'll figure that out pretty soon. Um, but I did try on a blue v-neck top that was just a 1x in the plus size section and it fit and I was totally impressed. I mean, coming from someone that's a size 22, 24 slash 3x, you know, going down in sizes make you feel so good and just being able to put on a top that's not a plus size top. I mean, I felt incredible in that dressing room. I sent my friend a Snapchat and I was like, oh my God, look, and I was just so excited. And I know all different clothes are made differently. Sizes can vary and I get that. But right there in that moment, I just felt so, so good. And it felt great. So um, aside from that, all my clothes have been really loose on me. I started trying to sell a few things on Poshmark um, just because I'm not wearing a lot of like dresses and things like that and I'm trying to you know my larger stuff that's in good condition I want it to be able to go somewhere and you know bless somebody else so I started selling things on par Poshmark so that's pretty much it for this week um, well these three weeks I should say um, thanks for watching and um, I will be back soon with a, another video with some updates. So have a great weekend and thanks for watching.